The following video comes from a real estate agent who caught something chilling while filming a video for her clients interested in buying said home. The clients wanted to see some of the lighting throughout the home at night, so she returned to film a tour, and while filming the intro she captures this. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. Open this door. Go ahead, open this door. Open this door like you did the other one. Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. Fearing for her life, she darts straight out of the house after the fire alarm going off falls directly in front of her. That and the door opening were not the only things that happened. At the beginning of this video, right before the door opens up, if you look at this picture on the wall, the face darkens, then once the door opens it lightens back up. Not sure how these two things correlate, but either way it's pretty creepy. The realtor states that earlier in the day she had an eerie feeling about the place and when she started giving tours, a few doors had seemed to open on their own. I'd say these occurrences all call for a discount. In this video, a janitor is walking through a hallway. Other janitors don't like being in during the night shift. This school doesn't allow any student in this specific hallway after a certain time, and for good reason. This school happened to be built on top of an old cemetery, displayed all over the school, are pictures of the old cemetery as well as pieces of old headstones that were once there. Other janitors claim the school is haunted. One night this janitor decides to record a video after something strange happened to him, but as he records something creepy happens, take a look. All right, I, um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, 
but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. Um, here at work, I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Just to, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky shit, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um, Ooh, okay. See, no, no, no. It just, it just follows me no matter what. Ooh. Uh, I can't. A dark figure shoots by in the background. It's only seen for a split second until it disappears behind the wall. The janitor immediately clocked out and went home. He has returned to the job but still feels uneasy about his workplace. This video shows a band having a goodbye party, then announcing this will be their last show. Everything seems normal while they play until something terrifying is caught on camera. Take a look. Pero cuando entran en la universidad, pues ya se les hizo el grupo, se les mantuvieron un tiempo, pero más como después. Y ya, eh, pues ahorita me llegaron con esto de que casi casi que la última eh, tocada. As the band plays their set, someone or something can be seen off to the right. This figure appears behind the TV as if it's watching the band play. What makes this even creepier is the tight space this figure is hiding in. A normal human couldn't hide in such a narrow space. It's still unknown what or who this was, but it's no doubt this is something straight out of a nightmare. In this video, this man was woken up at about 12 in the morning to a loud banging sound. He cautiously gets up to check what it was and encounters something that leaves him shook. Now this man inherited this house as well as a clown doll from his grandmother. The clown's name is Jeffrey and scares him, rightfully so. Because of this, he locks Jeffrey in a separate room from which he stays. But this night he heard the loud bang coming from the room where he put Jeffrey what he encounters would send anyone running. Take a look. I just heard banging.
man can be seen checking to see where the noise is coming from. When you hear a loud noise downstairs, he looks then you hear footsteps coming up the stairs. He then looks back to see the door opening slowly, exposing Jeffrey with his head now turned in a different position looking right at him. Here he quickly ends the video. Afraid this might happen again, he moves Jeffrey into the basement. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement, so I'm going to follow up. This is the result so far. I'm going to leave him here for now. But I think I'm going to put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here, so we're going to see if there's anything I miss. This time, the man is going to keep an eye on Jeffrey via the camera he set up. He will get notifications any time their eyes movement in the room. A few nights later, the heater that the camera is sitting on comes on by a timer, where it begins to oscillate, showing a wider view. What it captures is chilling. Watch. As the camera goes back and forth, Jeffrey's arm moves, and only a few seconds later, the light blows out, making it pitch black. Then a strange voice can be heard whispering something inaudible. From this point forward, the man keeps Jeffrey locked up and under surveillance. For now, that's all we know. This video, somewhere in Oregon, a man named Eden is getting video of a trail he's been to before, but feels very uneasy. He travels a bit further than he did last time when he catches this. Take a look. Oh, this, way. Uh... this is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. can hear the sound of something approaching him nearby. It could be a bobcat since there were animal bones scattered about the trail. Out of fear, he turns around and hightails it home. Months later, Eden returns to the same trail, but this time something even more unnerving happens. Watch. Oh God, bones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh God, there's even more bones than last time. It's been a few months since I filmed the last video. Because honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. Oh! It's just dark as hell in here. I'm probably going to turn around soon. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail going on forever. It just got really quiet really fast. That was my cue to go. That was my cue. 
Just like a nightmare, everything goes very quiet. Then Eden sees what seems to be a tall, pale figure who's somewhat crouching and walking very slowly as if it's stalking him. Scared out of his mind, he attempts to start the bike, but adding to the fear, his bike won't start. Eventually it does, and he speeds out of there. He has no idea what this was, but to me it may have been a skinwalker. But I leave it up to you to judge. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button to join our community. And hit the notification bell to be notified every time something eerie is posted.